everyone! Today we're taking a closer look at the selection tool. There are a few ways to select. Choosing the selection tool, you can use your fingers to draw around what you want to select, or you can connect your favorite stylus. Also, you can select by lightly tapping on a stroke until the selection bubble pops up. Another way to select when the selection tool is not chosen is to long press and drag or until a selection bubble comes up. There are three options here. Include partial items as a default setting for selection if you have not altered these settings yet. Choosing this basically means that no matter what layer you're on, when you select a stroke, your selection will also include strokes from your other layers. For a simpler and more focused stroke selection, choose the Search Active Layer Only preference. Selecting the same strokes, you'll see that the selection bubble is more spacious. Sometimes, when you select a stroke from another layer, a Found Items message will appear and go away shortly. Zooming in on your drawing helps your selection bubble become more accurate. The last selection option is Highlight Selection. This option isolates your selected stroke by graying out the rest of your sketch. Unselect this option if you don't like your selected strokes highlighted from the rest of your sketch. Let's go back to Settings and choose Include Partial Items. If you like to work with locked layers, a lock warning pops up reminding you that you're selecting a stroke from a layer that's locked. If this comes up, you can go back to settings and choose Search Active Layer Only. Once we select our strokes, you enter Adjust Mode. Here, you can edit stroke size, color, opacity, and smoothness. You can also move, stretch, or rotate your strokes. If you select a group of strokes that have different settings, the options that can be edited in Adjust Mode are more limited. The selection tool is very powerful and can really help your sketching process. We hope this tutorial is helpful. See you next time!